uh, hey guys so i think um, in the last section we covered the contact section and so here we'll be covering the footer section so we need to first understand what the footer section is so to explain this i'll be taking an example of uh, a website which is called uh, java tpoint so which contains uh, basically documentations to different tutorials so you guys also can refer to it but yeah let's try to understand what a footer is so once you open this page you just have to log into the complete bottom of the page and what you find here with this uh, green background is called the footer so basically footer contains uh, you know quick navigations to different uh, uh, tabs um, and it also contain contains the contacts of the developers or uh, the organization and uh, it also contain copyrights um, copyrights is something where uh, you're claiming that you own the work and uh, also it is going to share it is going to share the information of the developer right so this is what our uh, photo will be uh, containing and also which is not here is based, oh it's here actually yeah we can also add um, you know your social media uh, you know handles as well here like uh, you know we can link it to linkedin instagram youtube and etc so that can be done here as well so um yeah we'll try to build a similar implementation of this in our uh, tutorial so basically you can see this is what we'll be building um fine so before i think it looked something like this so now we'll build uh, you know something similar to that okay so first we'll have hr which is going to differentiate again from the previous chapter side also we'll have a pr uh, so that there's a clear difference between the contact section and our um, footer section so firstly we'll start by creating a division so so dev tag and uh, let's give it uh, uh, you know a class called footer basic so which will cover everything so in html we basically have a um, inbuilt element called footer so we're using that so diff also create another division here diff um so we'll be having two sections inside this one will be the social section we'll be adding the social media icons and the other section basically include uh the quick navigation stuff right it's also a sub menu bar you can call it but yeah the first section is social um no media handles so i'll just keep it social um in the class and now let's add uh you know different uh, social media icons so for this i'll be using font awesome icons so for um let me tell you this when you just scroll up right at the top of this page uh i guess i've uh, i included that uh in my code as well I, yeah so this right this line you must implement uh i mean encode it i mean what am i saying you just have to <laughs> you know include that in your code as well i mean not just some link here uh basically you'll yeah, so basically you have to add the font awesome link here which will basically allow you to use uh, their icons uh, we can use it different ways but uh, one of the easiest ways which developers prefer um, using any social media icons is this so we have the anchor tag right so inside this anchor tag we'll be having the i class basically i class is something where you can use to um, um, you know embed their uh, social media icons so firstly inside uh, that we'll be having um, say instagram so in order to use that we have to use firstly icon ion social hyphen instagram right so once you're done with that you're done so that will copy paste i think four times depending on the number of uh, social media handles you have mm, remember this remember this remember this so which can be the next one um twitter i don't know how many people use twitter which i don't you can have that as well facebook and um uh, i don't know very rare snapchat if you want to have it uh, yeah let's see how, but yeah we'll design that okay not at all mm. once you're done with that uh we will go below oops uh so as i said the, as i said the first section basically contain the social media icons and the second section basically have um the sub menus right the quick navigation stuff so for that we'll use an unordered list under which we'll be having uh, this will assign the class to a class mm, maybe a list and let's keep it in line okay inside which we'll have an ally so each ally will point to a different uh, navigation right mm, so first let's give this a class say list inline so each of them is an item so we just give an item we can give any id it doesn't mean any id or class doesn't matter but i'm just you know, trying to give some professional names so that you know, you're on track you next time when you see the code you understand of what you, know, you have written okay so that's very important here um i'm trying to direct to the home page i just give it uh, so this is basically the, once uh, you click on this tab it's going to direct you to the home page right mm, next uh, let's copy that paste okay it depends on how many sections we have we have about knowledge skills certifications so i think the first four we can take right home about uh, knowledge and skills um so home about knowledge knowledge and finally skills right 
and then also inside Zangata, we need to have this home. Uh, we need to have about. We need to have knowledge. Uh, make sure the ID that you're giving here matches along with the ID that uh, you're given to the each section. Otherwise, it won't work by clicking on each of the tabs. So yeah, I think this should do. Let's see. So oh, once we load, it comes out to be like this. Yeah, we have this list dots as I have given list. Um, we'll remove that by using uh, you know. Uh, the CSS stuff okay so that is one now at the last we'll be adding the copyright which is on the java tpoint website right so how do you do that give it a class first mm, because say copyright itself copyright and also uh okay there is i think one thing which we have basically in HTML we have the unicode stuff which is called uh you know by using different uh, numbers or you know different uh variables along with the and the uh, so, and operator we basically get to use their uh you know different symbols they have or different icons they have so in html basically if you and copy and semicolon you can basically use a c symbol which is used to represent the copyright okay after using this we just have to say mm, uh copyright and copyright and what do we do copyright um and right say your name itself i think okay. yeah your uh, you know copyright section but of course there's a lot to design and remove yeah so this looks pretty much it's actually it's actually not too bad okay we just need some more styling which will add it here so back to the css mm. yeah here we are and firstly uh, we gave a class called photo basic so we'll try to target that first mm. so we give a padding firstly padding give some mm, we need some padding inside as well so we we'll give some 30 pixels and zero and also we need a uh, background color background color i wish it always is a lighter version of black this hash i use um this version of black always so it's hash 161b22 this version of black always so it's hash 161b22 uh, gives the lighter version of black and also we also have color to the right which is cause white for the back background so that is for the photo basic is there anything else that we can add i guess some um, let's see mm. yeah not bad mm. Okay, let's also keep the position fixed. Let's see what happens. Keep position fixed. Position fixed. And uh, so, okay, uh, usually all the photos is always stuck to the bottom, right? So, in order to make it always by default, you know, stick to the bottom, we just want to use this. Uh, we want to keep the bottom zero. So, we're going to keep the bottom zero, we're going to keep the right zero. And we're also going to keep the left zero. Oops. The left is zero. Okay. You need to, you not have to modify the top. Uh, since you have to stick it to the bottom, yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to, since we need to make it stick to the bottom, we need to make bottom zero, right zero, and left zero. But if you have to stick to the, make it stick to the top, uh, the code will be very simple. Just replace bottom and top, and top should be zero, right should be zero, and left should be uh, left should be zero. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Once we have done that, we need to target the unordered list. So inside photo basic, we need to target the unordered list, which will first make padding zero. So all the default padding is made zero. So of course, we don't want all the dots to be there. It looks very odd. List style none. We call the text aligned to the center of the page. And also we'll keep the font size uh, to probably some mm -hmm, 17 pixels in the word. And also we need the line height to be set here. So line height to some maybe 1.5. And also keep the margin bottom to be zero. So that we don't uh, need to have anything below the photo. So that look very odd, right? After this, we'll be targeting the basic so basically we're targeting the list. So there's only one piece of code that we need to have right in the list. That is padding. Have some padding. Uh, so that is padding 10 pixels, 0 10 pixels. And also mm, now we should target the um, anchor tag so we just unplace anchor tag so basically see it's all nested part first we on the outside we had this division which had a class of footer basic inside which we had the unordered list and inside which we had list and inside which we had anchor tag so whenever you're making any code or we are, if you're making any uh, you know styling uh, you know, using css try to do it this way first target the outer region then move on to the inner regions as you progress okay now for the anchor tag we need to have the color mm, uh, we basically remove the color itself so you can edit and um, the same color and then we have a test, decor, test, a text decoration to be none so also we need to have the opacity so that we have some transparency uh, which can be set to 0 0.8 okay so mm, this should do good and oh, okay um i totally forgot about the social icons but before that let's also have some overing property to the anchor tags i mean those uh, icons that we created so we need to use this a colon and hover effect um set the over effect opacity to one Okay, setting the opacity to 0 0.8 and 1 will basically get the over effect. Okay, so we'll see how that works later on. But I'll just write all the uh, you know stylings and then later we can have a look at it one shot. So, text align, of course, and now we are targeting the social icons that we created. So, of course, we need to have padding bottom to this as well, which will give some um, 20 pixels. And uh, now 
uh, to the footer basic, we'll go to dot social, and we'll now inside this we'll be targeting the um, anchor tags, right? Anchor tags. So we need to increase the font size of uh, these icons. It'll look too smaller. It'll probably seventy twenty five pixels. Uh, we'll also get the width. Mm. Uh, usually, I think the, the width and height should be same, so I'll give it pixels. Mm. Also, we need this line height property to be assigned. Um, also, we'll keep the line height same as the width and height, and let's keep it uh, display as inline block okay so all the icons are um one next to the other that means no left right left right okay so it's not a block fine all the will assign all of them to be in the center and we'll also the border radius to be circle so as i mentioned already border radius if you need to make it circle make it 50 percent and also we'll get some border to this border say two pixels solid uh, let's say we'll use this a uh, little bit of gray version or oh, lighter version of white okay margin mm -hmm. which is probably 0 8 pixels or 0 10 pixels and opacity okay which is set to 0 0.75 this will make the icons look even better mm, not social and now let's target the over there hoeing uh, things off from um, the social media icons of course uh previously we did for the okay previously we did for this uh icon so previously we did it for those um uh the quick reference things the menu that we created the home knowledge skills but now we'll be adding over effect to the you know uh, social media icons as well so keep the opacity 0 0.9 so that see basically whenever you're adding over effect you need to make sure that the actual anchor tag and the um, Overing effect that we add, there should be some difference between the opacity, right? So here, if you can see, as I, I set for the unordered list, opacity to be 0 0.8, and later I kept it one. And here again, if you see for the social media icons, I've set it 0 0.75, and later I've changed it to nine. Okay, so basically, you need to keep a lesser version of opacity in the first. And when you're making a hovering effect, make sure you increase it to something uh, to a bigger value. Okay, I can keep it one as well, but you know, uh, let's try with 0 0.9. Okay, let's see what different effect comes out. Okay, mm. now when you'll be targeting the, I think copy, I think which we left off. Copy right. So we'll be setting a margin drop. Uh, to probably some 10 pixels text align to center and also font size mm, to say some 13 pixels and uh, color what does the color need to be suppose we use to the gray uh, gray but it look good let's see later okay much bottom of course i don't need any much bottom let's say to zero so you can see that all the style that i'm doing comes out naturally for me that is because of the amount of practice that i do and if you had to get expert at this the only solution or the only way of doing it is practice the more you practice the more you better you're going to become at this right so make sure you try to focus on practicing more and i guess i found out some bug here let's see mm, yeah it looks much better but what i see here is basically the contact section is completely covered so in order to do that i think it is happening because the position is fixed so what if we just comment this and uh, let's see what happens mm. Yeah, so you just have to remove the position fixing that's not required because if you keep the position fixed it's going to cover the contact section as well so yeah i don't think that's required mm, uh yeah um yeah i think this is done if you navigate to home it's going to go to home and respectively it works right uh i guess these icons are not visible so we can change the color of them mm, um social by social change the color of this mm, do this mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can just change the color to this Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and um, yeah. So here, as of now, I just not uh, linked it to any page. But when you're actually developing, you just have to link, uh, add your respective social media handles to the href that is given in the anchor tag. Okay, and that lets uh, that will direct your users to your respective social media handles. So I think this is how uh, uh, you know uh, you can do a footer. Um, I think this is actually at a very pretty beginner level. But if you have to take it to advanced level, you know you can you know um, divide this. Uh, entire footer section to its different parts like as we saw in java t point you can create you know columns inside of this but again as i told keep it as simple as it is possible in the first um few weeks of your learning and then later you can leverage um, as you progress okay so i think that's it for this video uh, we have covered the footer section as well and the last video the part 10 will be covering about how you can deploy the site and share your link uh share the link of the site among your friends so that uh, you know they can have a look at your portfolio as well so we'll cover that in the last video until then bye bye